let me set the stage for you. It's 2011, you're in your elementary school music class, the teacher pulls out a disc, a DVD. You know it will be a good day because the disc reads, and the music. Ah yes, and the music, a key part of any Gen Zers elementary school experience. If you have never had the luxury of seeing Anna Music, by all means, search it on YouTube and watch it. So, what is Anna Music? Well, it's right in the title. It's music that has been animated. You probably were introduced to this in your music class, according to the comments of this video at least. I personally was introduced that way, and let me tell you, I was far too young at the time to truly appreciate this masterpiece. And I'm not saying that ironically. Anna Music truly is the only thing of its kind. The way the music is animated and just the fact that it's animated is what makes it unique. While researching for this video, I thought it best to rewatch watch music. While on the song Pogo Sticks, I scrolled to the comments section and found a comment that completely changed my perspective on anime music. I'll read it here. The story here is that these pogo sticks live in a strict walled off city of boring and bland buildings. Everyone here fits in perfectly sized squares and molds, all to help build up this walled city. The pogo sticks is actually the name of a band that sneaks out at night to play music. They live in a strict society that has banned any form of imagination, for creative shapes do not fit in the predetermined templates. The tall buildings past the walls indicate watchtowers, showing that this is a controlled area where the authorities have an iron grip on the people. Four come out initially, starting their nightly ritual of playing. The entirety of the pogo sticks are spread out across the town, and they wait for the last member of this district. When another arrives, they start to move. They move swiftly across the town, never stopping for long. The pogo sticks don't want to be caught for disturbing the peacefully sleeping squares. They have to play on the run and quiet down the slip to the alleys between the buildings. They do this often, in fear that they are being tailed by an officer that would detain and imprison them. When they slip out of the alleys and back into the main streets, they play loudly again, now free from the dread of a stalker. They reach the homes of two of their bandmates, playing a rumbling song to summon them out of their homes. They're twins, who quickly come out of their homes after hearing the rest of the sticks. They begin their journey again, playing a chipper tune. All of them were happy to express themselves after a long day of conformity. They continue to play as morning peaks over the horizon. Soon, they would have to return home and back to their respective patterns. This comment gave me a completely new perspective on the song, and made me ask the question, can you find a story like this in all the anime music songs? Then I realized something. The songs are all animated in a way so that you can make your own story for each one. They specifically choose not to detail the story that the songs attempt to tell, so that you can fill in the gaps. You can look at all the released songs and truly make your own story. That is why I said anime music is a masterpiece of animation. So, you can make a story behind all the songs. Okay, you could argue that just about anything can have a story put behind it. So what makes anime music so special? Well, many of us watching this probably saw this when we were younger, so it could be a simple case of nostalgia at work. However, I don't think that's the case. You could show this to an adult who's never seen it, and they will probably like it the same as us. I think it's because not only is there nothing like it out there, but it was made during a time when 3D animation is really just starting to be used. The animation does what the music tells it to do, in a sense. There is an animation for every sound in the song. There is no sound left without a corresponding animation. No one has done anything like anime music since it came out, or even before it for that matter. Most of us can agree that we like anime music, and to be honest, few can say why. You could argue it's just so unique that you can't help but like it. However, unique isn't always great, especially when it comes to animation. I mean, look at some of Pixar's early animations and you will find some disturbing stuff. Perhaps anime music is loved because so many of us saw it when we were younger. Or maybe not. Either way, I like anime music, and it will always hold a special place in my heart. It's one of those things that got us out of doing actual work in school. I made this thinking, what better way to start the new decade than looking at the previous one?